Hello? Hello, hello? So, we are back again with another video. But this time, we're playing I Love You, Call No Sanders. I'm not sure if this music is copyrighted, and if it is, it's just that. I guess I had to re upload. Um, so, I love you, Call No Sanders. Just showed up today. Today is the day where it got released. So, why not jump in the bandwagon, right? So, <laughs> let's go, guys. New game. Enter your name. My name probably be. Hello Ninja. Confirm. Oh shoot. The game just crashed on me. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I feel like <laughs> I feel like that's a K-pop group over there. Let me move my my thing. <laughs> see, see that? <laughs> I think that's a K-pop group. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's a. That's a flying chicken. Wow, you sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You can stay in the moment forever. What the heck that Or you could wake up now. 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 The first day of COVID-19 is no time to sleep in. <laughs> That's magic. Laying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School. Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you'll find your imagination getting away from you. You allow yourself to dream a bit. Think about the future. It's here. Finally, your first day of the culinary school. So many dishes to prepare. So happy. So many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you re realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out of the door in a hurry. That's me right there. Mmm, delicious. That's why you need to wake up those taste buds. <laughs> that looks really good. Why does that look like um <laughs> those things they have for Popeyes for some reason? Jax, you're, you're in such a hurry. The fact that you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Uh oh. That's basically me I, every time. Like each morning, I when I go to the bus, I, I yeah, I know I'm sweaty. Standing in a quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your life mom best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorable, awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Damn, look at her. She looks so beautiful. Miriam. Good morning. Hello, Ninja. Are you excited for the first day of the, of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm... Because I sure am excited. A little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot of nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm not good? What if I'm no good? What if I fail? That face, oh my god. Classic Miriam, raised by master ch ch chef parents. She's always held herself to a very high standard. Hello, Ninja. 
ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box. It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. Typical me. <laughs> Love with University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three day only semesters. I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Yeah. That's no yeah, that's gonna be tough. But life's life's that life's just like that. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had the flair to the for the dramatic. This summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a two pack cinema. How do you uh, what? Okay. Should you pet talker or change the subject to give her some relief? I'd say change the subject for a little bit. It's hard to see man like this and frankly quite exhausting. Rather than go on her anxiety. You try to change the subject to something more interesting. Yeah, that's basically what you do. Cause like, look at her face. She's like crying. All summer, you've been hearing rumors about a Jamie enigmatic Mr. Steven. Who is enrolled at the school? Is that is that Colonel Sanders? Colonel Sanders. Is that him? Yeah, that's a little person, but you'll be fine. Now, what about this Mr. Steven? Read about on this the school message for any new beats. Is that me? Uh -huh. Oh, get this. I heard his name is Harlan, and he's no ordinary student. Okay. They say he has powers. He's had them ever since he was born from an egg. From an egg. <laughs> what? From an egg? Is, is he a chicken or something? A turkey? <laughs> what? An egg like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. See? Like... Like what? That doesn't make any sense. But that thing about having powers, it would line up with some of the other rumors I've heard. Like I heard he once fought a bear with just... How? How? That, that's not possible. You bought, you bought a side thing about stealing so hands and with the laws of physics. Then there applied to him, dreaming. <laughs> Talking about laws of physics, what's the new episode of One Piece? <laughs> Before you can get another word out, you re you're really interrupted when someone smacks your books and cuts them and grab measuring spoons out of your hand and onto the ground. <gasps> hey! It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can't get anything she wants and she knows it. She looks beautiful, bro. Not gonna lie. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. <laughs> Oh damn! <laughs> Look at Miriam! <laughs> Look at Miriam! Sassy! You leave her alone and just shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. Kind of. <laughs> uh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself, herself feel better than everyone. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. Oh my god, are those chickens? Are those chicken legs? Oh my god. Damn ties though! We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Those ties though. Those stockings are like chicken. Ooh. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Ban Ban the Ban Man. I stop to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight you can see him casually working out his glutes as well. He styles his hair, no lie, they're rocking glutes. Ahem, <laughs> Ban Ban. Your, <laughs> your friend? friend. Oh, is this a JoJo reference? 
<laughs> what does that look like? Oh my god. That looks like a speed, uh, what's the speed, whatever his name is. From, um, Jojo. Oh my god. You're never really sure what their rainbow is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Vanmer have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. But let me search his name now. He looks like a Jojo character, not gonna lie. I, I, I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. Yeah, like, bruh. You don't belong here. You're in the wrong universe. I know, right? I think they just hand and as our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us on a uh, hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just no time to power tell this to us, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. She, she later loses. As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window. <laughs> that, that look on his face, I like that too, though. <laughs> Dang! Okay! He looks like he's from Peter Pan or something. Mm? Oopsie. I think it's broken. Is that a ghost? Oh my god. You reach forward and you just go the door open. Ugh. That should be a trick. I love you. What? I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Would someone like this be also a student at the school? He must be one of one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag, his name tag clearly says Bob. But I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, Pop. I'm Hello Ninja. So, are you going to make me hold the store all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Aww. Is this me or is he kinda cute? What? Okay, you have some weird... Okay. You're into those... Into those... Peter Pan... Okay. I see you, Miriam. Hello, Ninja. I think it's just you. Yeah, it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Others, other students wander and and keep themselves busy, chit chatting. A scruffy-looking poop takes his place at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable. Look at that dog. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Sprinkles, I like that not here, man. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I think I found him. Hello, Ninja. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO, CEO of U UCSAL. Oh, he's an okay? Really interesting. No, he's, he's really good though, he's real cute. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Oof. That's really cute. Yeah. What? A cute dog? Is that a professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the 
no insist of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as if well cherry blossom fails to fill, fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly. Some someone close the window. And then he walks in. <laughs> Colonel, Colonel Sanders. Ooh, nice. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. He looks really fresh, bro. He looks really fresh. Ooh. Ooh. It's him. It's if if it isn't my favorite student, Harlan. That's his name. Okay, man. Damn, looking fresh. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkle. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hush murmur rolls through the classroom as Col Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desk. Suddenly, the room is sw sweltering. Sweat begin begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweet. Sweaty sweats lo sweats a lot. Maybe we should open that window back up before a faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. I still can't find what his name is. I forgot his name. Speedwagon, there we go. Oh my gosh. You two both know my name? We were in the same kindergarten class, and what is what? And what is with all you really weird, weird insults? Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. Boy, howdy! The classroom got gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. Ooh. Please use my hand handkerchief. He frees up. He frees up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Just look at that. Wait, Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders is talking to you about how sweaty you look. You're completely more mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? Hold your spine. Take the handkerchief. You stretch out your hand and call him. Sanders plays a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful. You hesitate, you hesitate to press it to your face, but when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has this natural scent on it. It smells like the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. Professor Dog steps into the entrance. Settle the class down. Set some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends, past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood, there might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sports and complete in the Broom Academy. Room cooking arena. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor rousing speech. Student. Oh gosh. It looks like a, like a typical loner in the classroom. Hi guys, so we're I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss. Oh yeah, he looks like a uh, elf from Death Note for some reason. Look at that pose. Quiet. <laughs> look at those. 
Look at those hands. That was like uh, Edward Scissor hands. Like a uh, mantis or something. Like the class is bad enough about interrupting my monologue. You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Let me let me check this. Oh, okay, okay. Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in the school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at my everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm you're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Ooh, dang. Okay. You get. You get. Expelled. If you get one tardy. Wow. Even Clank made it here on time. Only half fair cost down on his tiny wheels. He turns to see. To see a student sprinkle is a reference to a some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. <laughs> this is where <coughs> the class burst into laughter. A client, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience when he gets to you. He lifts his nose into air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking, but some more I'm picking up here. You definitely need a motive battery. You should be taking you should be taking better care of yourself. You've never heard of talking there as a teacher before. But sprinkles are just for being smart, but tough is going on. So, um So yeah, I know I should continue more, but I feel like this is enough, I guess, for now. So, um, if you want more, just say something in the comment section below and Probably hit that like button, sin, or not. Well, it's your choice. Yeah, uh, that's it for me. Uh, but, but I guess I'm gonna be posting another course party video tomorrow. So just 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 be check on that. All right, peace.